Hey there, Illustrator fans, it's Ryan Quintel, and today we're going to be making a stylized iOS type doc in Adobe Illustrator. And it's pretty easy to do, and you'll see right now how easy it is. Let's open up Illustrator and get started. First, we're going to make a new file, and we're going to make it basically the size of the current gen iPad screen, which is 1024 in width and 768 in height. That is, of course, landscape mode. You can call this iOS doc. Proper capitalization to make Steve Jobs happy. And we're just going to blanket cover our canvas at first in a dark color. I'm going to use um, black, but you're welcome to do anything. And just hit Command-2 and lock that down. Control-2 on PC. Now we're going to make the dock itself. Select your rectangle tool and click once on the canvas. Here we're going to make the width of it 1024. And the height, we're going to go for about 70 pixels. Perfect. Once you have your object created, choose a bright color for it. I'll do, let's see here, one of the stock blues is fine. And turn off the stroke. Now we're going to slant this at an angle. So go to Effect, 3D, and Rotate. Turn on Preview so you can see what your effects will do. This isn't too intensive an effect, so it should be pretty fast to load. We're going to do a front rotation from the position menu. We're going to turn our perspective up to probably about 150 here. Let's see what that looks like. And we're going to turn up our Y axis, our rotation here, up to 20 looks good. We'll hit OK. So now you see, can see we've gone a little bit beyond our bounds. Just hold down Option on your keyboard and drag in one of the edges until that is fully on your canvas. Go even a little smaller than that, and that's perfect. Now we need to expand that shape, so go to Object and Expand. And we're going to do a Command C and Command F to duplicate the shape. This duplicate shape that's laying right on top, we're going to color. How about orange? And you can see if I move it, our blue one's right underneath. I'll hit Command Z and go back. I'm going to zoom out a little bit for this next part. Grab your pen tool, and with your smart guides on, you can very easily judge the exact center of this line. So start somewhere around the edge of your canvas and click once with the pen tool. Then use smart guides to locate the center of your shape. Then click and drag up and to the right until you get sort of a nice curve going down. Then with that, find the middle. You go a little bit above the middle here and click and drag and let go. So the curve is pretty natural. Let it sort of create itself. You can see I almost dragged nothing, maybe you know a centimeter of real life screen space. Now we're going to make this yellow and make it a stroke, so swap right here with Shift X on your keyboard or clicking on the tool. And you can see we have this sort of yellow line uh, on top of our dock. Now we're going to select that and hold down Shift and select our orange box we've made and use the Pathfinder to divide it, just divide it right up. Use our direct select or your white arrow to come and delete the bottom until you get something that looks something like that. Using your line segment tool, find the left corner of the blue and drag until you hit the right corner of the blue. And then let's give that, we'll say, 3 pixels. 3px. Now if you didn't have your system set up in pixels, you can always hit command R, turn on your rulers and right click your ruler and change points, picas, inches 
pixels is down at the bottom. So this is kind of looking like a funky 1970s version of the dock, but uh, it's, it's pretty close um, to what we want. What we're going to do is let's just change our, our let's just change our yellow line down here to a slightly off white. That's fine. And with our orange and our blue selected, we're going to make a gradient. So just click in your default gradient field, and if you don't have gradients shown, you can go to Window and open up Gradients. Also, View and Smart Guides or Command U is how you turn on Smart Guides for your information. And the gradient we're going to do is white to not black, but white. But the second white here is going to be just 5% opaque. And our second white, our first white rather, you can turn down to, we'll say at 20%, opacity is more than fine. So now we're almost done, but uh, we just have a couple little final touches to go where you're not in the right direction with our gradients. Select your bottom unit, and to sort of collapse all the extra data that was created when we put on the effect and uh, did the expand, we're going to use the pathfinder and just click Unite to sort of simplify the shape. Then come over grab your gradient tool and switch your gradient from linear over to radial and take this big circle we've created and sort of squish it down I grab a little black circle here and expand it out so it's almost touching an edge and that's about good now grab our second swoosh here that we've made again I'm just clicking the unite to keep these shapes pretty simple and that's already a linear gradient that's fine grab your gradient tool and start from the top of it down to the bottom of it to get your downward gradient effect and you can do that of course you can always try a radial uh, if that's what you prefer and because this is all pretty transparent let's take our off-white line and cut down its transparency to say I think 60% is fine. Select all of these and group them. And that is it. That is an iOS style dock. And if you're looking to see what kind of uh, transparency effect you've created, um, you know, feel free to create an iOS icon or something of that ilk. You can use a horrible, horrible stock gradient like that. Just put it behind the object. And you can really see um, the effect that that transparency has uh, on some of these things. And that's pretty cool. So that's it, a quick and easy iOS dock in Adobe Illustrator. Have a great day and keep designing.